Hi, this is Lori from Making Tracks Dog Hiking. Coming to you live. Here she comes. Come on, Piper. Hikes this way. We're just getting started. It's a late start today. I apologize for that. I prefer to be hiking in the morning and uploading in the afternoon. But I guess today it'll be a an afternoon hike and an evening upload. Um, gonna try to get more consistent with my content being uploaded. And... Come on, Piper, let's hike! Um, but I guess it's a bit of a process to, um, to find my rhythm and my sync and my flow um, once we get going down the paths again. And, um, um, I guess what I wanted to chime in about today is, you know, I was at the store earlier and I, I could hear this dog barking. And, ah, it seems a little warm for the dogs to be in the car now, right? Summer's here. It's been a funny, strange summer. You know, it was um, only 16 degrees earlier and overcast with sprinkling down of rain and now the sun is out and... And that's where people, I think, aren't getting it, is that the temperatures can change that quickly. So it went from 16 to 21, which meant it was probably closer to 29 or 30 in their car. Uh, but I kept an eye on the dog, and then I approached them after, and I tried to bring it in, into their awareness about, you know, leaving your dog unattended in the summer months is extremely dangerous and they can wind up in distress and overheated and and it leads to stroke and you know being a certified dog walker it's now my responsibility to make sure that dogs aren't in distress um, it's about prevention and intervention and um, they were very upset that I approached them um, but at the same time, I have to do what I have to do, right? It's, it's not like I want to call the police. I just want to bring in into their awareness the risk that is involved and how quickly the inside of a car temperature can rise in only a few minutes. And I'm coming from a place of love and understanding and compassion. And these people were threatened and intimidated and scared and knew it all and um, quite taken back that I would approach them but you know if they hadn't come out of the store when they did the next step was to notify the authorities because it's already been published in the papers it's all over the news I've got articles on my blog about it um, like we just need to get aware um, so if you have um, a Facebook, which I don't, um, maybe you could share this about bringing awareness into all of our inner dog circles. And the time is now to share it and to keep Baidu at home during the summer months um, if there's not two or more people traveling in the car so that Fido can wait outside while you're running into the store, right? And that was the sad part, is that there was two of them. One of them could have sat outside at a bench with the dog on a leash while the other went in and did the shopping. So that's the sad part. Um, the good news is that the dog wasn't harmed. Um, but I think next time I'm just going to vlog it. I'm going to vlog it live and um, try to get this awareness out so that no dog is harmed. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for coming along. We're, uh, we're gonna go finish our hike now. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.